Well, now it's Happy Friday to you, Faith Pocatello Daily here, the 12th of January, 2023. And so we look at 1 John chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and have touched with our hands concerning the word of life. The life was made manifest and we have seen it and testify to, to it and proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard we proclaim also to you so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Now, this is interesting. What we need to understand that the, the, the Apostle John is doing here, and we see in the beginning of John chapter 1 in the gospel that he wrote, he says, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then he tells us that everything was created by that Word. And then he tells us in verse 14, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And here in First John, he's saying, God has been revealed to us and we have seen it. So our faith is not based upon uh, just some pie in the sky idea or theory or idea or imaginative fiction. Our faith is grounded in eyewitness accounts, those who have seen the true and living God, Jesus Christ. They saw him come miraculously into this earth, and, and he, they saw him live the perfect life. They observed, they walked with him. They saw him die a sinner's death, which he didn't deserve, but because he wasn't a sinner, guess what? Death could not hold him, and so he rose from the grave, leaving sin and death and hell in the grave, giving us a hope for the future. And then he ascended into heaven. These are eyewitnesses' accounts, and they said he is coming again because his words have never failed. And so we praise the Lord that we don't have this blind faith just believing some weird idea out of man's imagination. It's God's revelation to you and to me and to everyone. So let's hold on to that truth today. May God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.